final review for this week is uh, a very English scandal based on a true the true life story of um, of yeah. I'm doing it now. There's something about Jeremy Thorpe. Thank you, Jeremy Thorpe. Oh, by the way, how too old do you think I am? This is set in like the sixties. Yeah, but the trial. Someone wasn't... said last week, like you might know who this is. I no, wasn't no, even born. The trial was in the seventies. I was born in seventy four. I wasn't yeah, paying I know, that much attention you, to the news until about what the end. I, what, if, what I would say, though, is it is a famous thing that you may have heard of at some... Not necessarily being yeah. around at the time, yeah. but it is like... It, no. There's certain like political things that I know about where I wasn't born, and it's sort like of... Watergate and things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. But no, I so, didn't know anything about this. Yeah. So Jeremy Thorpe uh, is played here by Hugh Grant. The whole thing's written... By the brilliant Russell T Davies, ad- adapted, adapted you say, from a, yeah. from a book. Jeremy Thorpe is the soon to be, as this starts, the leader of the Liberal Party. He uh, has conversations with a friend of his in Parliament, played by the brilliant Alex Jennings, and he sort of confides in him that he swings both ways, but he's more interested in men than in women, and. Um, when he meets a young farmhand played by Ben Whishaw, the two sort of hit it off. Uh, but of course, as Gary said, this set in the 60s, homosexuality is still very much a thing done in private, not accepted, not even legal. Sort of later on, Ben Whishaw turns up at the Houses of Parliament. Or where is, is it the Houses of Parliament? It's not, is it? I keep saying that. Turns up somewhere in Westminster where uh, Hugh Grant's character is. Says he, he needs him... To give him a work visa or a benefits card or... No, national uh, insurance it, card. No House of Lords or House of House Commons? Of, one, of one of the two. And he asks him that it, whether he can have a national insurance card because he needs to work and he needs to needs, claim benefits maybe. And, and get like, his medication as yeah. well, isn't it? Or is that he, he needs a permanent yeah. address, doesn't he? He yes. needs a regular address so he can get his medication because he has yeah. got like um, issues with his mental health yeah. as well, I think. So um, Jeremy Thorpe then takes Ben Whishaw's character to his mother's house. They have secret liaisons. And then they kind of split apart when Ben Whishaw starts to get angry about being left in the flat all day and uh, Hugh Grant going off to work. And just they, they split apart, have a massive argument. But then things take a more interesting turn when it turns out that Ben Whishaw's character has a load of letters that Hugh Grant has written to him over the years with the pet name Bunny that he's keeping and threatening to release and sort of outing Jeremy Thorpe, uh, which would send him to prison. And it's about Hugh Grant's um, you know, rush to get these letters back. Then Hugh Grant's character, Jeremy Thorpe, gets married and Ben Whishaw rings him up again and says, look... I need this national insurance card, but he doesn't mm. speak to you, Grant. He speaks to his wife and sort of outs him to his wife. And the whole thing ends with Hugh Grant's character saying, this guy has to die. I don't care by what means. He just has to die. I'll just give my two penneth as I'm talking. I knew <laughs> nothing about this. And um, I, it took me about 15 minutes to really get into it because it was a lot of men talking in rooms, a lot of Alex Jennings and Hugh Grant. I do think Hugh Grant is wonderful. I think Ben Whishaw is wonderful as well. And I think the dialogue was very funny. And I love the jaunty score as well. And once I settled into the fact that it, it was funny and it was enjoyable, and particularly when, the, when they split apart and it focused on their individual lives and then the sort of catastrophe when they came back together again, I was really quite enchanted by it, I have to say. And I didn't expect to be at all. I'm not big on politics or or things set in this era, but it it really it really surprised me and I enjoyed it and I think I'm the only one. But this got a lot of plaudits on Twitter for basically the same reasons I'm saying because I think it was just an easy watch for a lot of people. It had a lot of humour at it at its heart and I thought the leads were particularly good. And I never rated Hugh Grant, but I think he was having a lot of fun impersonating Jeremy Thorpe and there was a lot of good dialogue to deliver that we know Russell T Davies is capable of and I, I, I really enjoyed it. Now for the other two to spoil my enjoyment of it. I, I've only watched half an hour of this I didn't like it. I, I, Why? I found it, I, I found it stuffy. I found it undramatic and I know that seems you know there was you know nothing 
I don't know, and that's the problem sometimes when you get a real life story adaptation is that is that you know real but life the can guy, be the, the guy's going to be killed, Gary. It doesn't get more dramatic than that. I wasn't a big fan of, of, of the whole kind of subject matter. You know, it, it didn't appeal to me. I, I don't think I liked the look of it beforehand, and I, I'm still the same. I don't know why. I can see where Gary's coming from. I think it picked up in sort of its latter maybe yeah. 20 minutes. I didn't find it an easy watch at all. I didn't find it an easy watch. I found it a real struggle to get through, if I'm honest. I think Hugh Grant's playing it too big. It feels a bit imbalanced in terms of there are some serious moments and some stuff where they're talking about you know homosexuality being legalized and the Ben Whishaw character has got like mental health issues and does struggle and things like that and then you've got Hugh Grant playing it for laughs and and doing acting a bit little bit too big for my liking I think as you say, he I, is doing an impersonation. As far as I'm aware, that's what Jeremy thought was mm. like. He, his performance is almost too big, whereas Ben Whishaw is, is almost sort of the other way and is very reserved and things like that. And the two didn't really mesh for me until you got to the bit where, you know, Ben Whishaw's character moved to Ireland and became a model and he was having a successful thing away from Hugh Grant, who, as you say, had got married so he could sort of further his political career. And... I thought it did get going towards the end, and I am intrigued. I think I'll probably watch the second one just to see where it goes. But I didn't love it as much as you did. Maybe because you'd already said you'd liked it. I thought, oh, I'm going to like this too, and I found it a real struggle. And as you say, from the moment they split apart, it became more interesting to me that he was going to slowly destroy all that Jeremy Thorpe had built up, even though it was all a facade. I suppose I'm surprised that I enjoyed it as much as I did, which is why I'm still going on about it. But, yeah, two more to go. I'll watch uh, the next two. I think the only good thing about these small three-part things or four-part things is you're more... If this was a six-parter, you'd probably be going, I might watch the next one, Mm -hmm. I might not. But I think we're going to stick with this because we want to see how it goes. And because there's only three, it doesn't feel as big of a commitment to just go... Yeah, I'm going to keep watching. But I enjoyed it, and I like Russell T. Davis' style. That's Sunday Nights, uh, a very English scandal, BBC One, on Sunday nights uh, for the next two weeks. It's on iPlayer now if you want to catch up with it. But yeah, I'm not going to be surprised if Hugh Grant and Ben Wish all are up for, for uh, BAFTAs this time next year if, if the performance... But only for Paddington has- too. Don't, don't give don't give up so easily, Gary. I nearly text, nearly messaged you and said keep going because it took me some time. It took Matt even longer. So don't give up because it changed into a different time. I, I I think I've got too much else to watch at the moment. But thank you for the recommendation.